Cristiano Ronaldo, according to Forbes, made over $1 billion. And according to other sources, he made $650 million. We can't know for sure who is right, but we can know for sure that he made tons of money. And not only for himself. When Juventus bought him, they spent $350 million on him. What did he do for them? On the first day, Juventus sold 520,000 of his jerseys. For comparison, last season, the whole team sold 850,000 jerseys in total. Ronaldo earned 8 million euros for Juventus on his first day. Speaking of first days, Ronaldo is a megastar. Before he joined Al Nasser, the club had 800,000 followers on Instagram. After the announcement, the account grew to over 10 million followers. Recently, he opened a YouTube channel and gained almost 20 million subscribers in less than 24 hours. This is the Ronaldo effect. He earned other people millions. But what did he earn for himself? What are his sources of income? How he builds his businesses? What's his mindset in business? Let's answer all of these questions and see how Ronaldo Incorporated works. He grew up poor. His father was an alcoholic and worked as a kit man for the local football club. And his mother was a cook and a cleaning lady. Ronaldo shared the room with his siblings. His mother wanted to abort him because of poverty and father's alcoholism. Ronaldo had that hunger for success in him from a young age. That's why he decided to drop out of school and dedicate his life to football. And that decision gave him the life of living his passion, money, fame and many more. But in gaining money, businesses also helped. He owns a creative agency called Seven Agent. This should look like the word legend. The agency designed the website for Valencia FC and a store for Portugal's football team. There's rumors that the agency brings him $2.4 million a year, but that's not even 1% of his business earnings. Another small percentage of his business income is Zella restaurants. The restaurants are located in London, Rotterdam and Ibiza and are in the luxury dining niche. But as I said, a small percentage. He partnered up with Crunch to bring you Crunch Gym. He has even a bigger partnership with Pestana Hotel Group. Ronaldo and the hotel group partnered up to bring Pestana CR7 hotels. The hotels are in Times Square, New York, Marrakesh, Morocco, Madrid and two in Portugal. Believe it or not, he owns a hair transplant clinic. That business got him $100 million in 2019. Maybe the company that brings him the most money is his fashion company. He has CR7 fashion line where he sells everything, including clones. Ronaldo's latest purchase was a Portuguese media company called Cofina. Ronaldo and some investors bought Cofina for $63 million. The media giants owns Correio da Manja, the most circulated newspaper in the country that sells 110,000 copies each day. The famous clip where Ronaldo throws the journalist microphone is from Correio da Maja, the company Ronaldo owns now. Life is funny. He puts his name in everything because he realizes the importance of branding. Also, he invests in niches that he is interested and passionate about. But all these businesses we mentioned don't come close. There is much more. His best business venture was selling his image rights. He sold it to Mint Media, a company owned by a Singaporean businessman, Peter Lim. And as Ronaldo said, he's a good friend. This means that any brand that wants to use his image has to go through Mint Media. Yes, Ronaldo can't open OnlyFans. Sorry fans, he did that to make him popular in Asia. In 2021, he charged $1.6 million for an Instagram post. In commercials, he made millions. Castrol paid him more than 40 million pounds. Armani, $3.8 million. Herbalife, $1.95 million. That's just some. He has been in everything. But the best one is Shopee. His Nike deal is estimated to be worth $1 billion. Nike pays him $20 million every year until he dies. All this is because of the power of his brand. Cristiano Ronaldo brand is so powerful, when he moved Coca-Cola bottles in a press conference, their stock dropped by $4 billion. 
Let's return to Juventus. The club earned $40 million more that season in ticket sales, all because people wanted to see Ronaldo. The club got 3.5 million followers on Instagram when Ronaldo was announced. Juventus earned $110 million in total more than previous season, all because of Ronaldo. His accomplishments on the pitch are impressive, but what he accomplished outside the pitch is even more impressive. That brings us to the question, what does the future of Ronaldo Incorporated look like? A lot of people assume that he is gonna be a billionaire. He is a visionary entrepreneur, strategic businessman and the biggest sport influencer on the planet. Ronaldo has a real estate portfolio worth over $54 million that includes luxury villas in Madrid, Portugal and more countries. He has his own museum. Ronaldo also invests in eSport and solar energy, two rapidly growing industries. He also owns a tech incubator where he supports new tech companies. Looks like Ronaldo wants to build the next Instagram where he would earn billions and be the most followed person on the platform as he is on Instagram. Maybe he buys a club in the near future, like Beckham did. Ronaldo is passionate about football, but he saw beyond football and invested his earnings. Now, will he be the richest athlete of all time? We will see.